What's up, gang? Today I'm going to show you how to use the GRT email editor, and I want to take you on a quick little tour through how to apply the results you get from the GRT email editor to your email campaign provider. Specifically, today I'm going to show you how this works with ConvertKit, MailChimp, and then Aweber. And basically, I've discovered that there's about two different ways these email providers um, will deliver their editors to you. So, like, you've got some options. Um, like ConvertKit, for example, forces you to use a WYSIWYG editor. MailChimp on their free accounts is the same way. But like Aweber, for example, gives you the option to do like a, a fully HTML coded email or to use their editor. And I will show you the differences between those things and, and how you can get the email, the GRT email editor to work with all of them. All right, let's dive in. So what I've done is I've prepared a little email in the GRT email editor. You can do this yourself. All you do is go to the GRT email editor page and you can start typing in here and apply all the types of formatting you want. This particular editor has been built so that all of the formatting you can do is stuff that's valid in emails because not all, not all uh, stylistic things are valid in emails. They don't all work, but everything that you're going to be able to do here in the editor is going to work in emails. So anyway, you, you create your email add whatever exciting formatting you want. That's kind of the point of GRT. Stuff like this call out, there's an alert call out with a, uh, a heading level three, and then also a button inside it. Like this is really cool. I've got a citation and signature there at the bottom. This is all stuff that's pertinent for email, all right? So craft your email, add some cool elements like that. And then we go down here beneath the editor. And what we're gonna do, when, when once we're done with the, the editing process and we want to actually send our emails and like, set them up with our provider and, and get them all ready to send, we're going to use this pink box here. <clears throat> and we've got different ways to, uh, different providers we can select. And that, that changes the way the output works. Um, but to begin, we're going to use the universal format. Um, it's the same thing. ConvertKit and MailChimp both use the universal format. I put this here in case you use something like Campaign Monitor or Constant Contact, something I haven't been able to put specifically on the list yet. You can just try the universal settings and that should work everywhere. But Aweber has a, a little bit of a difference if you use their HTML editor. I'll show you all this stuff. But for now, let's just use the universal format. We will generate the email. And that creates a bunch of code down here. Your email has been converted into this real cryptic code. So what we do, we copy it. Now we're going to go over to ConvertKit. This will be our first example. And we would like, so we've crafted this email, but we need to send it to our list. And the way we do that is within our email campaign provider. So here in ConvertKit, we can create a new broadcast. That's a new email. So we're gonna go in here. Presumably it will work. It's slow, here we go. Okay, so here we've got the, so don't forget to add your subject line. And then here in the editor, we can create a block. There's a little plus button there. It pulls up this list. For ConvertKit, we want to use something called an HTML block. So we're just going to add this. And then we're going to paste our paste the stuff from the editor right in here. So easy. We've So we added our code block, or HTML block. I click the edit button. I paste the code. I hit save. Boom, there it is. Now we've got this white space up here. You have to do what's called a forward delete to get rid of this. You can't just, just back it out. I can't just delete it. So that's kind of annoying. Uh, I can't, can't get rid of this. So what I have to do is a forward delete on, on my Mac. It's function, option, delete. On Windows, it's going to be something else. Uh, but that eliminates that, that unsightly space at the top. And so now here's our email. And it's all formatted and everything according to the GRT stuff. That is amazing. So what we'll do is we'll preview it. We'll send a test email and let's see what that looks like. Here we go, look at this, boom. So here is that email, here's what it's gonna look like in Gmail, so it's proof of concept. That is awesome, look at that. It's got all the GRT formatting. If you were gonna to have to go into the ConvertKit editor and try to add all this, it would be impossible. Uh, it, you would have to hand code a bunch of this stuff and that's just out of reach for most people. It's it, Beyond that, we shouldn't have to do that anymore. This is the ultimate experience. You just write it in the editor and then it just works the way you want. And it has all the formatting that you've, you've applied. To me, this is the way things ought to work. It's not how they do work at these, at these email providers, but if you use the GRT email, email editor plus your provider, you can get the results that I think are, are, are what we all are expecting these days. 
All right, so let's do it again. Let's move on to MailChimp. MailChimp is similar. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create, we're gonna select email, and we're gonna say just a regular email. Just a regular email. Test for my peeps. We're gonna give it a name, we're gonna begin. And over here, remember, I've copied, I've already got my email copied, so I'm just gonna find out where to paste it. So we scroll down a little bit, we go to content, we go to design email. This is with a free MailChimp account. If you have a paid MailChimp account, you have, uh, you have the ability to access an HTML only editor, which you could drop the stuff in there as well. But uh, this is the free version of MailChimp, which I think most people have. You click design email if you've got this. It doesn't matter what we choose, just say start from scratch. You can choose anything, but I just start from scratch. Okay, and now we are going to add a code block somehow. Let's see if we can do this. We're going to add code here. It's right here. So we're going to drag this over. And now it says use your own custom HTML. So I, I grabbed the code block. I dragged it over into the email. And now I'm just going to erase what's here and paste my email contents from before. All right, this thing is like a logo. It's all set up so that you can... Uh, add your own things in MailChimp. So I just delete these extra things. I don't want those in my email. I don't want this thing here. This is like, these are placeholders. You're supposed to fill in the blanks with MailChimp. That is ridiculous. That's not how people craft emails. That's not how you write anything. You don't fill in the blanks to write. You just sit down and start writing, say what you want to say, and that's that. So MailChimp works on this fill in the blank philosophy, which I think is ridiculous. We're not going to do that. We're just adding our code, having our email, and living to see another day here. I do want to encourage you to go to styles because these MailChimp templates are annoying. I go to email and I change the background color to white. I just want a basic email, just a page. So I do that. That's the only tweak I make after, you know, after pasting the email in there and seeing that it's going to look good. And then we're going to send a test. We can send a test to my little test email here. We're going to send a test. It's sending. It's going to give a little warning message. It doesn't matter. We'll say OK. We're gonna go back over here. Maybe we'll get it, maybe we won't. I've had some tr troubles with the MailChimp thing. It does work perfectly though. Here it is, boom. All right, there it is. Here's the email for MailChimp. You can see it's retained all the formatting in Gmail. Looks great, got GRT stuff. We got, it's all, everything's formatted according to uh, golden ratio typography, sizing and spacing. Uh, we've got all the styles in here. We've got our alert box. We've got our button. This is great. We've got our salutation and signature. It's perfect, perfect email. All right, so there we go, we've crushed ConvertKit and MailChimp. Now I'll show you how this works with Aweber. So here we go. So we want to, this time we're gonna save a different format or uh, generate a different format for our email. We're gonna select Aweber. We're gonna generate the email. Here it is, we're gonna copy that code. Now let's go to Aweber and see how this works. In Aweber, you can create a message. We're gonna use the custom HTML editor. They've got four types of editors. Drag and drop, smart designer, plain editor, custom HTML. This is the easiest way to do it if you're using the GRT email editor, quite honestly. We open this editor, you're gonna see the blank code on the left and you're gonna see your resulting email output on the right. All we do is just delete this whole thing and paste our email in there and boom, there it is. And we can preview it. We're gonna test subject. Don't forget to add your subject line. That's the one thing I find myself forgetting to do when I use the GRT email editor in this way. We're gonna send a test message, let's do it. Doop. And let's, let's check one more from Aweber. Wait for it. Here it is. And there it is. As we can see, this email has retained all the GRT formatting like the other methods that we used. So boom. So there it is. This is the easiest way to get GRT formatted emails with your favorite email campaign providers. This is the ultimate way to do it, guys. You've got a, an editor that's really comfy to use. This is so much nicer to write in this than in any of the editors they give you. Uh, so you write in this, this is beautiful. You just generate the output and then you paste the output into your provider so you don't have to mess with any of their nonsense. You're gonna get all the styling you want. It was easy for you to create. And now you have the emails that you want with the formatting you desire. So there it is. Thanks for watching. I'm actually gonna give you a heads up here. I'm gonna change the way this process flow works soon so that you can select your design settings for your emails. Like maybe you want this box to be a different color, that type of thing, or you want the buttons to be a different color, or you wanna use a different font, for example. Anything like this. I'm gonna add that functionality soon, so this process flow is going to change a little bit. But for now, and it's not gonna to be too different in the future. It's just gonna give you more design options. But 
For now, this is the way you do it. You write your email, you generate the output, you copy it, you paste it into your, your provider, and you are good to go. Thanks for watching.